perfectly placed here more than a thousand years ago. The mosaic floor of a Roman villa that's helping archaeologists piece together history they've never been able to before. Stretching 11 metres, it's the first of its kind found in Britain. Uncovered by the landowner's son, who last year experienced some lockdown luck. It was really difficult for a lot of people and, and getting out into the fields was a really good way to, to escape, if you like. And in this particular field, which I've been in for quite a lot of my life, um, I noticed some bits and pieces on the ground which I'd never spotted before. So it really inspired me to go and, and have a look into this in a bit more detail because it was really quite unusual. To think that actually, if you hadn't decided to go out that day to have a look at the field, you may never have found it. Yeah, I'm not allowed to dig any more holes in fields anymore. This is, <laughs> this is something which could happen again. <laughs> Luckily, he won't need to. Historic England have taken over, protecting the site and its location while archaeologists work to see what else lies beneath. What's so exciting about this discovery isn't the sheer size of the mosaic or the quality of the tiles, it's what it tells us about the Romans and specifically what they were reading at the time. Mosaics were used across the Roman Empire, often featuring famous figures from mythology, but this one shows a scene from the poem Homer's Iliad, an Achilles battle with Hector at the Trojan War. We have no parallel for this anywhere in Roman Britain, and it's complex, in, it's in three different sections, a little bit like a comic strip, each one showing the next stage of the story in the Trojan War to be this huge and this complicated, and to tell this incredibly sophisticated story from ancient Greek literature is a very niche interest. Whoever commissioned this was clearly very well read, and very well educated. And very wealthy. It's thought the mosaic was the floor to a dining room or entertaining space built to impress. And even one and a half thousand years later, it's certainly still doing that. Sangi Talal, News at 10.